So an additional renal malformation manifestation means common extra renal manifestation associated with the diagnosis. Okay. So we got a 40 year old man with a history of right or recurrent flank pain, chronic kidney disease, bilateral palpable masses in his flanks and his both kidneys, um, ultrasound, multiple bilateral renal cysts. So. Okay, um, so, so I'm thinking polycystic kidney disease, most likely. Perfect. And then his bilateral, multiple renal cysts. So then what would be an association with that? Um, so your thought process is super clear, right? You, you figured out, you know, you figured out the diagnosis, which is key to this question. Okay. Now you got to figure out, like you said, association. So in your mind, you're thinking, okay, people with polycystic kidney disease, right. Especially bilateral, right. So this is mm -hmm. probably inherited. So then the question is, you know, which one of these answer choices also, you know, they're at increased risk for is kind of what, yeah. what they're asking, right? Yeah. So, uh, PKD, I don't think you're going to have a ton of, I mean, so for cerebral aneurysms, you'd need hypertension. I'm trying to think if uh, PKD is going to be associated with that. I don't think it's associated with hearing loss. I don't think you're going to have a whole lot of neuronal issues going on. Okay, good. I don't think it's going to be hypothyroidism because, you know, it's not, I don't think it's really involved with that at all. Pancreatic cysts, I don't think so either. Um, pulmonary function, I know the kidneys like to mess with the lungs. So I'm thinking whether or not the cysts could somehow back up into the lungs or cause hypertension, like pulmonary hypertension that could lead to fibrosis. Okay. Or if you have such crazy hypertension that you're going to have an issue with cerebral aneurysms. So, okay. based so on, what does your gut say? I say gut, I'd probably go with the pulmonary fibrosis because I think hypertension can lead to both of those. Whereas the okay. cerebral aneurysms would be the much more severe version of that. Okay, talk to me about pulmonary fibrosis. What do you know about pulmonary fibrosis? Um, so it'd be just like fiber, so fibrous tissue building up in the interstitium or around the arterioles within the lungs. Okay. And what is that usually caused by? Um pulmonary hypertension or like sarcoidosis. Yeah, so more, I mean, I would say say less likely hypertension, right? More okay. likely autoimmune in, in function, right? Or chronic, um, you know, like, for instance, if you have um, hy hypersensitivity, uh, pneumonitis, right? Um, okay. Chronic inflammation causing scar tissue, causing that inflammation in the lungs, causing fibrosis. Because fibrosis is just, to me, honestly, is just a fancy word for what? Uh, inflammation and scar tissue, right? That's mm -hmm. what fibrosis is, right? Um, so hypertension right a lot of people have hypertension but do a lot of people have pulmonary fibrosis you know what i'm trying to say yeah so like for instance like you know you have plenty of like you know when you start your third year rotations there's gonna be plenty of people hypertension almost everyone has after they get 50 60 years old right because mm -hmm. your, your arteries in general start to get harder as you get older that's just part of life right but everyone that has hypertension does not automatically have pulmonary fibrosis right Mm -hmm. so unlikely is what I'm saying by hypertension. So do you want to keep your answer or do you want to change it? Probably go with the aneurysms then based okay. off that. Okay. So, yeah. So autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, right? You have in increased risk or it's associated with actually cerebral aneurysms. Okay. Yeah. So just know that it's about 10% in AP, uh, you know, autosomal dominant uh, polycystic cystic disease. So very, very commonly commonly asked. So make sure you kind of know that. But like I said, pulmonary fibrosis, right? Not common, right? Chronic lung disease, right? Scarring, thickening of the lung tissue, kind of what we talked about, right? And you'll have respiratory failure. It can be idiopathic. You know, there's there's stuff that just, idiopathic is a fancy word. We don't know why, right? Mm -hmm. But also, like you said, right? Um, autoimmune disorders can cause it, connective tissue disorders. And of course, you know, if you have coal miners lung, right, that also gives you, you know, pulmonary fibrosis, right? So um, inhaling things that cause inflammation. Does it make a little bit more sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Perfect.